So, so what's up everyone, Tactical Preparedness here. Um, today, I won't, you won't actually see me in the video because I'm trying to do a little video here on something that I feel like is very important for your bug out bag. These here are freeze dried meals. This is like two days worth and the reason I didn't add lunch is because honestly man, I don't even eat lunch in today's world. So, um, I just want to show y'all a little bit of this right here. This here can make a great addition to a bug out bag. Um, then I got a little bit of something here to, for sweetness to keep my sugar levels up. Um, but these here, man, I think would make a great option. Um, right here, breakfast, dinner, breakfast, dinner. So make sure you keep this type of stuff organized like that. You really would be surprised at the wonders this would work. Um, so, Let's talk about the serving size. There's two servings in here. You know, I mean, just look at those calories, man. I mean, you could really, really stay nourished if you're in a bug out situation with freeze dried foods. Okay, um, these here are something that I totally recommend because they have very high calories. They work great. This here is a granola. The, freeze dried meal and that's 530 calories I mean dude you just cannot go wrong you know you can find a wide variety of these like the teriyaki chicken and rice okay that's a dang good meal in a survival situation the breakfast skillet man that is so filling okay then you're getting a bunch of calories there's two servings in each pouch how can you go wrong you know um, then there's two servings of this these brownie bites here I've always took I mean don't get me wrong I love mountain house but when it comes to a survival situation I want a lot of calories although I love mountain house a lot better than these here I mean dude I think on calories I think on what I need to get me through the day and all that and I would still take mountain house if I had to you know mountain house is great but I mostly use that for hiking camping trips and things like that so get yourself some of these today throw them in your bag I'm actually upgrading to a um, 511 tactical bag so that's why it's taking me so long everyone to get this bug out bag video ready for y'all I want to make sure that I have quality gear for what I prep for you know so yeah Check these out, man. You can get these at your sporting goods store. I just ordered two more on Amazon to have three days worth of food. And I'm possibly going to just go ahead and do four days worth just to be safe. But I highly recommend y'all, man. Check these out. These are these things are freaking awesome, bro. So, um, yeah. I just want to do a video showing y'all these. I mean, these here make a great addition to a bug out bag. So, there you go. And... Thanks for watching. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe, comment on this video. Let me know what comment content y'all want to see, and let's get this ball rolling. Like I said, bug out video, bug out bag video is coming out very soon, um, within a couple months. I hate it's going to take that long, but it's just what it is, man. Um, you just cannot find a good quality tactical assault pack anymore. So I'm going ahead and pay a big amount of money. For this stuff but this is here is what i carry as far as food then i got emergency water packets plus i would hold some in my little canteen and all that as well with a water filtration straw and all that but this is what i recommend so i encourage y'all check out the peak refuel these here are pretty good man these are really good uh, although i feel mountain house is better but like i said i go for how many calories and all of that not the taste of food because i'd rather be out there with this than nothing at all so like i said please like share comment on this video subscribe to my channel for new content coming out fairly often so thank you have a good day man this is your boy tactical preparedness i'm out